All right, so I'm going to talk for just a minute about fitting pans and frizzins on locks. Once you have your frizzin set and your frizzin spring in place, you have to ensure that there's a good fit between the frizzin and the pan. And uh, the best way I've found to do that is to hold it up to a light source and look through the gap right here between the, uh, the bottom of the frizzin and the top of the pan surface. And the pans, they've already been uh, milled flat uh, on the mill, so I know that this surface is completely flat. Uh, but sometimes the frizzin surface is not 100% flat yet. Or, in the process of installing it, it has moved a little bit such that you can see a little bit of light uh, when you when you look through the through the, the crack there. Now this particular lock is showing a little bit of light right here in this area but no light on either side of the, the, the long rails. So I'm going to take a little bit of Prussian blue it's uh... there it is Permatex Prussian blue uh, a little bit goes a long way I've had this tube since gosh I don't know, 1998 or something, and uh, just kind of starting to run out. Figured it was time to get a new one, so this one will probably good be good until oh, I don't know, 2040, <laughs> something like that. Probably outlast me. But anyways, um, just get a little bit of blue here, and then. Get a thin coat on the pan surface. That's pretty good. Close the pan gently. And yeah, pretty much just what I thought. Let's see if you can see that. We have contact here and contact here and in this area that's where our light is showing through so we'll take a couple quick swipes with a file I like to use these brass jaws in the vise because they don't mar the the steel of the lock and they have pretty good grip. Use a nice sharp file. This is a six inch mill bastard uh, Nicholson. Nice brand new brand new file. Fill these surfaces. Drop it nice and lightly and now you can see let's see if we can get it to focus we have a nice blue ring going almost all the way around that frizzing surface I'm gonna hit it one more time Make sure you get all the chips off. Touch up your blue a little bit. Gently close the frizzin. And now I'm getting a nice blue imprint. Tricky to get this just right. That runs all the way around the pan. So now what I do is make sure to wipe all the grease off before you check it against the light source. 
because the grease will certainly block out the the light that you're using. Check that gap. And now I'm going to hold it up to a light source behind it. I'm going to check that gap and uh, I almost guarantee I'm going to get no light through that. And if I do, I'll just repeat. Um, I'll just repeat the process until we get a nice uh, gap-free fit. And that is basic prison fitting.